Shalom and welcome to Students of Torah. This year is entitled My Charge and Challenge to the Chatan Avi Brody and to all members and leaders in Kalei Israel. Baruch Hashem, we celebrated the offer of Avi Brody. Grew up in our community. Shul started in his home when he was a young boy. And Baruch Hashem, Brody's been with us from day one in Rahim Or, now in the Shul together. Baruch Hashem, getting married this week. And here's my charge and my challenge to Avi Brody. It's not only for Avi Brody. So you look back, there's a big question. Everyone's quoting for the last two years since Corona started. We had the war, the elections, and uh, so many challenges and issues. The Mehron disaster, the disaster on Shavuot with the bleachers crashing. And everyone is quoting the Rambam. When things go wrong, you can't just say it's a mikra. You have to do tshuva. And for many, tshuva means I was always careful about learning. I have to be more careful about learning. At Sneez, I have to be more careful about Sneez. more careful about I have to even more. And that's great. But let's say Hashem is trying to send us a message that the message needs to be upheaval in Klai Israel. And your gisha, your approach is wrong in area A, B, C, or D. I don't see really people doing that. Everyone is entrenched in their views. Uh, Anti-Zionists are anti-Zionists. The Zionists are Zionists. How are people? How are people? Anti-Arabite, anti-Arabite. That stays the same. And just everyone in their own little cocoon strengthens their vote to Hashem, which is nice. But what if Hashem is sending a bigger wake-up call? So everyone just is entrenched in their positions. It's a bit of a depressing thought if you think of it. So I wonder about the following. The average person, the average person, what should he or she, he or she do? Is going to go and just follow whatever his or her rabbis and gedolim say. So they say that uh, may own tragedy is because it's Nias. Okay, I have to work on my Tzias. And that's what we have to work on. And uh, the Harabayit and the fighting on Yom Yishalayim, right around Harabayit. Oh, it's because we abused Harabayit and we went up to Harabayit. Oh, it's because we didn't go up to Harabayit. Oh, whatever my rabbis say. There's going to be few people within Klai Yisrael who are Chachamim, who are learned. And when things hit like they've hit over the last two years, they're not going to say, oh, I know why God does it. We don't know. We need a Navi for that. But see, let me revisit some basic core issues and values that I have. Whether it's about Migdash, about Zionism, about physics, the laws of nature, and regulations and rules by the Zionist regime regarding Mehran, let, let me look into that. T- whatever the topics that people have been throwing around the last two years and years before that, someone who's an average person can't look into it. person is sick with a cancer, goes to the doctor, the doctor says uh, surgery. Okay, surgery. Chemo, so he, uh, he has no opinion on the matter, just how it follows the expert. So with Torah also, the average person just follows whatever his rabbis say. A person is a Talmud Chacham who's developed. That person could look into the Sugizah on a higher level. And whatever the topics are, core values, anti-Zionism, Migdash, not Migdash, Laws of science and nature, physics, regulations, how much does that play a role? How much does it just say, no, 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 bitachon and Hashem, amunah bitachon and lot. All these core issues, a person is a big Tamil Chacham, who's a learned person, that person could look into himself and come up with his own ideas. It's not a person could do that, that's a person develops. And that's the mission beginning of Horio, which says what? That you have a bait and Paschal made a grave error. And the average person followed it. So they don't bring the, the korban. The base doesn't bring the korban. The person's a big time chacham. He knew that there's something wrong with the base of Psaac. That, that leniency, there's something wrong. And he said, I'll do it anyway. Because they said so. Not so simple. So I'm saying there's two categories of people. The average person is a follower and listens to the rabbis. And then you have those people that could go further. And Avi Brody Bar Hashem is one of those people. Is a thinker. He's thought through about me, those, the ability to search something properly. I bless him and his wife, Avi and his wife, that they should be able to buy an Imam be Israel, and should be real thinkers and explorers, and that this journey should be a very, very special one, where they could look into the sugyot of life that challenge our generation, and have this premise, that premise, and look at it firsthand. And then... When you sue and come to Kla Yisrael, they look at a different level. Mir Tzashem, Shabbat the Bayin Imam Yisrael, the house of Chachma, of Bina, of Dat, of Love, of the Veikut, of connection to each other, connection to Hashem. Mir Tzashem, we should just have so much nachas for them as they become shining luminaries in the Rabbi Shemesh community and all of Kla Yisrael. Shalom.